The general, a very general broad definition that's probably accepted by most would be the scientific study um, and application uh, of that study um, of human mind and behaviour. Sometimes that involves studying animal behaviour as well. Um, and when it comes to the mind, obviously we can conceive of that in a million different ways. And I think that that diversity of approaches to psychology is one of the things that makes it so intellectually interesting for me. I've adopted in this book a particular model of that, and it's not the only model out there, um, but I found particularly helpful myself for Robert Sternberg's triarchic model of psychological thinking, which looks at critical thinking, you know, evaluation, creative thinking, putting together theories, designing studies, creating hypotheses and practical thinking, which is applying principles from psychological theory and research to understanding real life situations. Um, so that, that's my, that's my the take I've, I, I've used in this book on psychological thinking. Um, there are others, um, but I found that one really lent itself to structuring um, the transition into undergraduate psychology because it lends itself to, to getting students understanding what all the, the kind of mental tasks they're going to have to uh, I I engage in.